Race number seven at uh, Shatin on Sunday is a class three contest over the 1200 metres with two horses making their Hong Kong debuts. Royal Pride, who actually heads the list, is one of them blinkers in a tongue tie. He was a two time winner out of Australia. Baby won a Happy Valley over this trip back in December. Good Health is the second of the debutants. He's a winner out of New Zealand. War of Courage, the last start course and distance winner at Shatin. Decisive 12. Should roll forward, though he's drawn barrier 12. And there's another last start winner. Pleasant Endeavours won two of his four starts so fast. Drive for glory switches to Shatin in for the first time at start number 10. Pegasus Glory up in class without winning. So the pace uh, possibly drawn out uh, wide here, which means Decisive 12 looks stuck there, Tom. Yeah, War of Courage uh, with uh, gate number 8 and Storm Warnings gate 9 and Decisive 12 and gate 12. So not ideal there for a fans of Decisive 12. He hit the, the run on the rail uh, last uh, time out uh, on the speed and uh, he'll be up there somewhere, but whether he can get it or not, that's uh, another matter entirely. Uh, Baby might be somewhere handy. Pleasant Endeavour drawn nicely in gate number four. There are a couple of newcomers in this race as well. Good Health and Royal Pride. Uh, Good Health has got some speed but from gate 13 he's likely to get back. Royal Pride, uh, gate speed just okay. He's drawn gate number one. He's had a recent quiet trial at Happy Valley. Okay, well, let's start off with the decisive 12 here. Last start winner for Alexi Bedell here chatting with Mark. Alexi, race seven, you ride decisive 12 once again. That was a very tough win last start. Yes, indeed. Um, the horse did a very good, very good effort uh, in the straight. He was uh, able to to jump well from the gate and make good use of the draw, and uh, he kept on well. I, I like this win. He seems to have matured as a horse as far as his barrier manners go, because he was slow out early in his career. Yeah, yeah. Um, he, he he's been a bit slow out to me uh, in a trial, but last time was okay. So hopefully he can. Uh, can repeat his uh, his good behaviour, and uh, but the horse looks very fit, and I'm quite confident that he should run a good race again. He must have a good attitude because he was there to be run down by Trillian and went all the way home, but he kept finding. Yeah, exactly, and um, the, the the feeling he, he gave to me was was pretty good, and he, he fights very hard. He's a very honest horse, so I believe he can only improve. You had a good draw last start, you're drawn wider this week, but with a horse like Storm Warnings drawn out wide as well, would you like to work forward and across with him? Well, as long as he jumps good from the gate, I think he's quite versatile. Like, uh, if the pace is quite fast, I can just sit behind the leaders. Uh, I can also lead if I want to, so it just depends on the pace, but the horse is quite easy. As soon as he jumps well from the gate, I'm not very um, worried about the draw. Definitely sounds like one for consideration then, as far as Alexi's concerned. That's decisive, too. He's one for one on the horse. What about uh, Speedy Mouse, uh, Tom? Now, he's been a long way on debut, but in his four starts, he's run behind Winner Method, Valiant Dream, Courier Wonder and Killer Bee last time. Yeah, and his gate speed's not been overly fantastic either. He missed the start uh, last time out. He travelled wide down the side. But, look, he stayed on OK here over the, the final stages uh, when uh, Killer Bee was able to get up and knock off the mighty Vela. Uh, here last uh, time out. He's one for the consideration, Paul, but his Barry manners are just starting to let him down a little. Yeah, a little bit, aren't they? Um, look, it was prior to this, I thought his runs have been good, and he hit the line OK there. It is a strong form race. I think Mighty Vella has a good chance later on, so I will take a chance with him. OK, and Killer Bee's won again uh, yeah. since as well. Uh, War of Courage then, Paul, last starts. Uh, when are our class act also engaged? Look, he's, he, the War of Courage has been disappointing this season. There was no other way to, to describe it, especially down the straight 1,000. He's come out here over uh, the longer trip of 1,200 metres, and he's, uh, he's won, won this race. I mean, the last two starts, I mean, the third behind Good Clerico wasn't too bad as well. So he has got back to some form, and he did... Uh, stay on nice hits with he can put two together. And he led all the way on this occasion too. He's only a four-year-old, he's only had uh, the 19 starts, but it feels like he's been around uh, forever at War of uh, Courage, but he's finally found some form again. He has. So what about good health, Tom, this uh, debutante uh, out of uh, New Zealand? Piaggio was his name when he raced there. Yeah, and he's uh, come out of a, a stakes race in New Zealand at uh, New Plymouth there on a, a yielding uh, track, and uh, he wasn't too bad, I thought, on that occasion. He's had a few issues since he's been here. Lame right hind, fit lock and uh, tendon issue. This trial, of course, uh, was uh, had to drops of God engaged, but I didn't mind uh, the trial. Of course, next to him is Charge On, who was punted and narrowly beaten. Whether he can do something first up, I'm not sure, but um, haven't minded the trial there from yeah. him. He's 912 pounds, so he's only a little chap. Uh, all his runs were left-handed in New Zealand. He's had the four trials here. I'm happy just to watch him this one. I'll include him on a line of line. I thought he was interesting there. Speedy Mouse, uh, Paul, he's our favourite at this stage. Yeah, I've got him on top, see if he can bounce back. He does come out of that strong form race, Speedy Mouse. He's only had limited starts, so 
He's on top. Pleasant Endeavour. Now he's had a great season. He's a two, he's won twice already. He should get a perfect run from Barry Number Four, the lightweight here. I think he's a he's a chance as well. A decisive twelve. The problem is the draw with him. There's plenty of ability there, no question. But it's what sort of run he's going to get. Biz Power, another one yet to win, but it's really consistent and always gets you. Eleven, uh, nine, eleven, eight, and ten. Eight, nine, two, and four. Yes, the draw looks on paper a negative four, decisive 12. But um, Alexi Bedell didn't seem to be concerned about it, so I'm happy with that. Uh, decisive 12, Speedy Mouse. Uh, Storm Warnings has been close up in his last uh, three outings and good health there on a, a minor line. So eight, nine, two, and four. A race stack full of chances once more. But I think War of Courage uh, maybe have an opportunity. Manfred Manstead was absolutely flying. Matthew Chadwick's in good form as well from Barrier 8, 6, and 11. My cue there in race number seven.